Well, some new exciting news from Google. They've launched the new Google Nest Hub second generation. Is there a big difference? Is it worth upgrading to the new one? Let's find out. If you do like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that little notification button so you know every time we have new videos coming out. So what is the difference? Looking at them right off the bat, they're almost identical, front and back. They've got the same type of uh, speaker configuration right down to where the power cord goes in uh, as well. The only way that you can tell the difference is that the new version, have you figured out which one is which yet? This is the second generation. The glass on here goes right to the edge of the screen. On the older one, it actually has a little plastic bezel, oh so tiny. But again, that is the only difference from an exterior standpoint. But it's on the inside, what counts, right? So this one uh, has an increased processor speed in here. So it's gonna be a little bit more snappy. And the big inclusion is a Soli sensor. We'll get into what that's all about, but for me, I think it's a big enough uh, reason to have a look at the, the second generation. Also, uh, they've uh, increased the, the music capability of this as well. So it's uh, got 50% more bass. So if you do use this as uh, one of your speakers in your home, you're gonna feel a bit more power behind the music and a little bit sound, better sound quality. They've also increased the amount of microphones. The old one had a, a two microphone uh, field array. The new one has three microphones, so it should be even better at recognizing uh, your voice. With this particular one too, they also have another networking standard built into this. You might not know about it yet. It's called Thread Networking. It's a new home network standard that all the big guys like Amazon, Apple, and Google have agreed upon, and more and more devices will have this in your home, so it's kind of nice to be kind of ahead of that uh, technology. Google's also trying to be a little more environmentally friendly by using more recycled materials in the second generation as well. While the first one did have some recycled materials, uh, the second generation, they claim, has got uh, about 54% uh, or more of post-consumer recycled materials in the build, which is a good thing. And finally, they've got one new color. So in addition to charcoal and sand, they now have mist. Uh, I like the ability that you can still choose what you have on the main screen here. Uh, as you can see, I've got an art gallery uh, collection going. I can also set it to my Google Photos to have all my uh, photos of my family and friends. And on the second gen, I've got the, uh, the digital clock. And I'll tell you why that's important. Google, I think, is really positioning this as uh, your sleeping friend. You know, that little clock that you have on your uh, bedside table. With that Soli sensor, it does some pretty amazing things. Number one, the snooze function now with the hand gestures, I am loving this. So in the old days, uh, you know, I had one of those uh, little Amazon Echo clocks on the side of my bed with the screen, but you had to actually hit the screen to snooze. With this, because it's got that sensor, you just basically wave your hand when uh, the alarm's going off and it'll set it in snooze mode. How great is that? But the Soli sensor is so much more. It is, uh, again, a type of radar that's monitoring you while you sleep. And again, you can set this on or off. So they've got some pretty good privacy controls when uh, that uh, is concerned. So it can detect like amazing things. It can detect uh, your heart rate, your respiration rate, even things like uh, coughing and snoring as well. I've only had a chance to do a little bit of testing and we'll be doing a, a, a you know a more full in-depth review on the actual sleep functions but check this out hey how well did i sleep last night it looks like you slept a good amount and it was fairly restful you went to bed early and woke up a little early but slept for six hours and 13 minutes so this is kind of cool and i'll, I'll tell you why i've uh, been using different types of fitness trackers like fitbits and even an apple watch you know, they do the, uh, the sleep monitoring, but this kind of does take it to another level. Uh, you do want to download the Google Fit app so that it can actually use that information in the app as well, which you can also uh, hook into Apple Health if you want, if you've got an iPhone. Uh, but the information is pretty cool. It gives me everything from how long I've slept, and this is kind of the interesting thing for me, the quality of sleep. And it's interesting and kind of scary at the same time. I don't know how my wife hasn't smothered me yet with a pillow. Check this out. Uh, I had, you know, a fairly decent rest, it says. Uh, I didn't sleep as much as I, I wanted to, but uh, look at how much I'm snoring there. It's insane. I'm snoring literally five hours out of that six hours that uh, I slept. It can even show me how many times I coughed during the night uh, as well. Down here, I've uh, got my respiration rate and heart rate. Uh, so there's all sorts of great info here that I'm going to be tracking in the coming weeks uh, to see again how well I sleep. So for me, 
that was an incredible feature of uh, this particular new digital assistant here. Again, you can see they look identical. You know, sure, maybe it's a bit better music, it's got a better microphone, but that radar, that solely, that solely sensor, does take this to another level. So I'm pretty excited to track my sleep over the next few weeks. And again, we will be doing a follow-up video on this to, to show you how well it works. And again, in full disclosure, Google has sent us these uh, to review, but in no way are they paying us uh, for the review. So these are our own thoughts. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got lots of great stuff coming up, including a full review on the sleeping and even comparing it to some of the other sleep trackers that uh, are out there. And if you've got questions, if you want to know something about this, leave it down in the comment section below, and uh, we might even include that in the video itself. Hey, we have a lot of great videos, and uh, if you've got some time, check out these. They're fantastic. No, seriously, click one of them.